Spankies, pacifiers, soothies. They have a lot of names for one product, but they all do the same thing. They help with your baby's urge to suck. I will never forget my little guy. I was a little bit nervous about introducing a pacifier due to nipple confusion. And I walked into the NICU and the nurse had a pacifier in his mouth. And I looked at her in horror and I said, no, 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 we're not doing that. Well, she was a big Eastern European nurse and she looked at me and said, he has strong urge to suck, he need a binky. Since then, he's always been a pacifier baby. So let's go through what the best pacifiers are for your little one. Now when newborns are born, the Soothe is the best pacifier for them. The reason being, the shape is very similar to what a nipple looks like, and it's very easy for them to keep in their mouth. Now what's really nice about the Soothe is there's a flat side right here, and there's a hole, so you can actually put your little finger in it to help your baby learn how to suck and keep the pacifier in their mouth. Now the only negative with the Soothe is that they often do fall out, so on our next episode, we're gonna talk about ways to deal with that. Now, as your baby starts to get a little bit older, many babies transition from a soothe to a more traditional pacifier. Now, my son's favorite was the Nook, probably because I love the little fun designs, football, baseball. You can clearly see that I just absolutely love these with my little guy. Now, what makes the Nook unique is that they come in an orthodontic shape. So what that's gonna do is it has one flat side of the nipple, and supposedly this makes it better for when children are teething. It's totally up to you and your family what shape is gonna be best for your baby, and really, your baby's gonna let you know. You might have to go through a few different pacifiers to find what they prefer. Now, they can also come in two different materials, latex and silicone. Again, purely your choice, unless your child happens to have a latex allergy, then you're gonna wanna stick with the silicone. Now, the nook pacifiers are great. They have a little handle right here, which makes it really easy for you or your child to hold on to. They come in three different sizes so that you can size up as your baby's mouth grows. Now, another thing that I love about them, the designs, they're so cute and very fun. You can get them to match your outfit, your favorite season, all sorts of things. Another brand that I love is by MAM. Now, MAM makes great pacifiers. They put a lot of time and effort into their design and to the look of them. Now they have the more traditional shapes, they don't have the flat side, and some babies again are gonna prefer one over the other. Now these are the pacifiers for the newborn babies, and then as they grow, they have lots of different designs. This one is called the Airflow, and what this does is some babies have a lot of saliva that comes out when they're sucking, and they can actually get little rashes right here on their face. So this is gonna help let that dry as they're sucking so that it doesn't get stuck there and create that little rash. So very cool design. Another thing that's really fun about MAM, you can actually personalize your own pacifier. You can put your child's name, little fun sayings on it like, hi daddy, fun things like that. So go to their website and check it out. It's mambaby.com. Now another favorite pacifier of mine is the gumdrop. Now this is a really interesting one because it's kind of like a cross between a soothe pacifier and a regular pacifier. Now it's all one piece just like the soothe and it has the flat back. However, it has an orthodontic nipple on it. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds if that's what your child likes best. So where do you buy your binkies? They're readily available at Amazon, Target, your local juvenile product store, minus Right Start, and they always have really great deals. Now the cost of pacifiers are anywhere between $150 and $3. So my suggestion is to get lots of them and stash them in different places in your house. The worst thing in the world is when it's three in the morning and you don't have a binky to satisfy your little baby's urge to suck. I'll see you in the next episode of Mommy Must Haves, where we talk about pacifier accessories.